Hey what's up guys, today on this quick effects segment we're going to be doing the 3D motion tracking needed for the full effect that I will show off in the next episode of the effects studio. The effect that will be demonstrated next episode is a mushroom cloud explosion made out of particles. In order to do this, I'll need to get a 3D track of my footage. In HitFilm, I'll create a new project and select Camera Solve with Mocha HitFilm. You can now close HitFilm if you want to save computer memory. I'll create a new project and import my footage. Make sure all of the settings are correct and hit OK. I'll scrub through my footage here and find the in and out points. Once I've found them, I'll press the in button to mark the beginning and the out button to mark the end. Press this button to stretch the timeline to only your in and out points. Mocha is a planar tracker, which means it tracks surfaces instead of small points. To create my first track, I'll select the x spline tool and draw a circle around this middle point. Make sure that whatever you're tracking is visible throughout the entire video. I'll turn on the grid and adjust it with the blue handles. You're going to want to match the grid to the plane you're tracking as best as possible. I set the minimum percent pixels used to 90, check mark translation, scale, rotation, and shear, and press the track forward button. Mocha can't create a 3D camera on one track. Instead, you'll have to use multiple tracks on different planes. It's essentially the same process with different areas of the video. Make sure to line up the grid accordingly. For this video, I decided to make three tracks that would help Mocha determine where the camera is in 3D space. Once all of the tracks were done, I selected all three and went down to the camera solve tab. This is where Mocha figures out the camera. I selected large parallax change since the camera moves quite a distance, and press solve. I got a solve quality of 94%, which is very good. Press export camera data and save the file to your computer. It will save as a hit film composite shot that will import later. This tutorial will continue in the next episode of VFX Studio, but here's an extremely quick preview of what I've done. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like rating below, add the video to favorites, or share it. If you have any requests for new effects or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.